This week, Vice President Kamala Harris was welcomed by a roaring crowd of Wisconsin voters as she kicked off her 2024 presidential campaign in the crucial battleground state. With just 100 days until Election Day, her first stop was when one of the blue wall states that Democrats see as essential for securing the presidential victory. Other critical states include Pennsylvania and Michigan, which President Biden has seen recent polling deficits in prior to ending his candidacy. Her campaign has now raised more than $100 million since her Sunday afternoon announcement following Biden's endorsement. As well as other Democratic delegates' endorsements, including Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, who both govern blue wall states, by the way, and are potential contenders for Harris's VP pick. Harris's next stop along the campaign trail in Indianapolis today, where she addressed the sisters of the historically black sorority Zeta Phi Beta just last hour. Hour. Joining us now is Chair of Wisconsin Elections Commission and Democratic Delegate Ann Jacobs. Ann, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here on this. Um, and, and we see this trip planned prior to President Biden ending his campaign. How critical are these blue wall states to Harris? Thank you so much for having me, Natasha. These blue wall states are what's going to determine the election. Um, in Wisconsin in 2016, Donald Trump won by a little over 20,000 votes. In 2020, Joe Biden won by a little over 20,000 votes. So here in Wisconsin, our electoral votes are going to hang by probably about 20,000 votes. 20,000 votes. It's really not much uh, at the end of the day. And let's talk about all the speculation over a potential VP pick uh, for Harris. Uh, who are you tracking right now? Do you think it will likely be a governor from a blue wall state? And one more question, if I can throw it in there. Uh, does choosing a governor from a blue wall state automatically translate to them handing that state to her in November? Um, to answer your second question, no. It's, you're not able to take for granted the vote in any state, even if a much beloved governor is that vice presidential pick. Um, we still have to uh, fight for every vote in every state. Certainly the governors from uh, their home state have an advantage, but it's not 100%, it's not a lot. It's not 100%. Who am I following? Yeah. I'm following the same people everyone else is following. Mm -hmm. Isn't it terrific how many choices Kamala Harris has to be her vice president. It's delightful. I understand. Uh, you know, we saw this crowd very engaged yesterday in Harris's first rally. Uh, there, there were many moments, but especially when she called out former President Trump. Let's take a quick listen together. In those roles, I took on perpetrators of all kinds. <laughs> Predators who abused women, fraudsters, who ripped off consumers, yeah. cheaters, yeah. who broke the rules for their own gain. Yeah. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.